Welcome to Momentum Monday. Today is July 30th, 2023. Howard, how is cycling going on? I had 50 miles today, buddy. Old man is 50. Great job. Let's see how Zoom is doing since you, you've been using it so much. Uh, mm -hmm. ooh. Ooh. I guess not that great, but... In a bull market, starting to, show, starting to show some bottoming, but yeah, you can't. Yeah, all boats get lifted in a in a bull market. Well, listen, there's a couple of things going on. The EU, to randomly, since you brought up Zoom, the EU is going after Microsoft for, which is a complete monopoly. Zoom's a better product than Microsoft Teams. So, uh, anyways, Zoom is not shouldn't be on anybody's radar right here. It was a favorite of mine for a long time. The uh, so get to it. I'm going to walk us through the market. Yeah. All right. So last week, the Federal Reserve, as expected, raised the interest rates again, 25 basis points to about five and a half percent. The market barely blinked. There was a little bit of a sell-off on Thursday. We had like a gap up and then a giving up that gap up, which, you know, probably scared a few people out since, but it was quickly recovered on Friday. Definitely, we're seeing some uptick in volatility in the past couple of weeks, mm -hmm. which could be considered normal since it's earnings season. But earnings keep coming strong for the most part. Like we, we continue to see companies beating estimates. I mean, it could be the one of the reasons could be that estimates are typically low on purpose. So that's why we pay, we pay more attention to market reaction to earnings. Mm -hmm. So, for example, Microsoft, which has been one of the uh, AI leaders uh, this year, they pulled back after the earnings, still holding about the 50-day, but it should not be a big surprise even if they have a deeper pullback. Now that more uh, sectors and groups are starting to work, uh, sector rotation is still a big um, characteristic of uh, the current tape. Uh, last week, uh, for me personally, two two groups stood out. Uh, one is the semiconductor sector, which um, yeah. for all intents and purposes closed at uh, new all-time highs, especially yeah. on a monthly it's new all-time highs. Yeah. And strong reports from a few companies in the sector um, AMAT. I mean, AMAT's the equipment. Where is uh... AOR, AORCX, the other one? Um, also, oh my goodness. give me a monthly on these. These just no one owns these. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're high priced, not very sexy as businesses. So most people don't really own them, but they've been doing well. And um, I mean, the entire sector uh, has been really strong and uh, typically. When an entire sector moves and semiconductor companies' stocks tend to be highly correlated, if you're like a shorter term speculator, you can use something like like a leverage ETF, like Soxo, like for like a if your horizon is like a few weeks or a few days, something like this could probably deliver the most bang for your money, since mm -hmm. because the high correlation anyway in the sector. We are seeing a similar high correlation in uh, Chinese stocks, which was really the, the group that gained the most last week. I don't know if there is any specific news, but so far this year, any breakout attempt in China hasn't really followed through. But last week felt different. Like there was a big volume yeah, breakout on Monday. We see the weekly, yeah. Bob, and then, and then another on Friday. Um, so this is the KY pushes the China internet kind of represents it's bottoming yeah. a bunch of them. But I can show you like the more popular ones, like Baba kind of look the same. Baidu is a little bit better technically. Um, they report earnings this um this week, I think Tuesday, setting up they they kind of look the same. There are a bunch of them, and uh, especially the hot hot ones were uh, the Chinese uh, EV stocks, all the electric vehicle companies making significant moves, like 50% or more. Yeah, in I the mentioned week. it at like 12, 13 thing. Yeah. So, yeah. Lee, Neo, uh, 
XBF. And if you look at them since their IPOs, they haven't really made big moves since IPO since because of the time they kind of went public. Um, they couldn't really make big moves. I mean, the same with, with the US EV stocks. I mean, look at Rivian. It's, it's, it doubled this year, but it's still down like 80%, um, 70% from its uh, all-time highs just because they went public at very high valuation. And, you know- but The car's pretty good. Friends like the car. The, everyone says it's actually the best, uh, probably the best. Look at, that look, at that volume. look at that volume. It's just kind of expensive. So I guess they're just, just going for the same type of people who bought Tesla five, seven, ten years ago. Um, the question is: Does it take does it take attention away from Tesla? And I mean, it, the other day I just looked at the market's just of, expanding, so we'll see the number of electric vehicles available in the U.S. that qualify for like the federal um, seven and five um, thousand credit tax credit. And there's so many however they're like 30 40 companies like every single company has an offering so tesla's definitely getting some competition i don't know how if if those cars are the same as tesla maybe tesla is superior quality wise i haven't really well the key is you know tesla got away with breaking the rules you know the batteries they're saying they lied about the range they the the, the next group won't get the same you know you know, they're saying a lot of the Tesla people, the battery only went 150 miles, but no one cared at the beginning because they loved their Tesla. So, um, well, I heard that electric vehicles really, um, their tires don't last too long. So let's look oh, at I didn't know that. That's interesting. Yeah, they, they last Quickly like so their, their weights, they last like half, like they usually last 15,000 15, miles, <laughs> a lot less. So, what's the weekly? So maybe something like Goodyear or something like this, kind of setting up, trying to break out. It could be like a secondary way, indirect play on on electric vehicles. If you like like slower moving stocks and have a longer horizon, it's something to consider, I think. Um, but obviously, monthly hasn't done well. But yeah, I mean the industry. So let me just go through it. So so semis, yeah, check. Okay. The financials are strong, or at least not going down. And you've got the industrials, you know, breaking out too. So you got pretty much everything working, especially yeah. Everything's kind of working, even the railroad. So, so I don't know. Like it's easy. Like I said, the headlines are going to remain shit. But if you're focused on the headlines, you're missing the bull market, you know, including myself. So if you need to, it's just a giant. This giant you know, new bull market or or the end of the bear market, whatever you're going to call it, is just another reminder why, you know, time in the market is better than timing in the market. Um, and, you know, for those people that uh, didn't get back in or got scared out, it's tough to get back in, up, you know, 40%. But when you got the industrials, financials and semis working and... And a lot of speculative stuff working. Um, it seems like the dips are getting bought. Like, but we'll see. Listen, volume's strong. Um, but in the end, rates continue to creep. Uh, and you know, it's hard textbook kind of is when rates go up, you know, it's competition for stocks. So, you know, that textbook just has not worked the last year, right? With rates up and stocks up. Um, but, you know, bonds are still in a bear market. Well, the market is forward looking. I guess the market is saying maybe the Fed is almost done raising. Yeah, but, but it goes up when rates are going down and it goes up when rates are going up. Uh, you know, so again, like, I guess, you know, like we, we talk about here, price is really the arbiter and prices are going up. Um, and the, the trade, as we've been talking about for six, seven months, has just been long. Google looked, Google closed at yearly highs. The first estimates, um, new 52-week highs after earnings. Yeah, it was supposed to kill it. Um, you know, the headlines were terrible. I love buying Google under 100. Um, other than Apple, it's my biggest position. Yeah. And I don't know, like AI isn't going to kill Google. 
I don't know what to tell people. Uh, it's only going to help Google. Um, yeah, and, and also high interest rates are also helping companies like Google because it just means less competition down there. Yeah, it's just, it's just the less competition. And if you really think about YouTube, of all the social networks, forgetting TikTok for, because you know, it's a, not an American company and not public, YouTube is still the best and biggest and brightest of, of networks. You know, it spawned Mr. Beast. It's going to spawn 100 Mr. Beasts. And I don't know. I'm just super bullish on Google, um, especially with AI and with self-driving. People just trust Google. And and Apple's you know I Apple the what is it iPhone sales are down like third year in a row, so it's like I think everybody now knows that iPhone sales are a growth product. Yet the stock continues to go up because the you know sales don't have to go up if they have you as a subscriber, and as long as subscriptions you know are going up, and Apple Wallet, I don't know. I mean, if you own Apple and Google, I mean, you're almost over diversified, you know, so, you know, own, owning a couple fangs and then five or six other, you know, industrials. I, I looked at Boeing, that that broke out. Yeah. Isn't that supposed to like be bankrupt, you know, from the crashes? I mean, how do you, how do you short that? Uh, you know, my daughter owns that. She, she, she just loves, she just wanted to own this and she bought it herself and I don't know. To me, that's like all time highs because yeah. anybody who wanted out is out, you know, and so, so industrials look good. What else was I going to say? MRVL is another one that I'm long. Um, yeah. It's a semiconductor setting up on multiple time frames. Look yeah. at it monthly, weekly, and a daily. So I don't know. There's more long ideas than short ideas. So. Yeah, definitely. Um, that's true. And obviously, we are still in the midst of earnings season. And you got to take good setups because the volatility, like you just said, volatility is increasing. Rates are high. You can't just chase. You have to have, have a reason. Like, so for Marvell, I know where my stop is, you know, below 56. Which one? Marvell, MRVL. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. It's, so it's like, I know where my stop is. The other one that I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I, I mean, they have no competition to Shopify, right? They just launched kind of their version of, of uh, we'll see what they report earnings, but like, I think it's had a good run. I don't love the the pattern, but yeah. we are in an uptrend. Wednesday. Uh, yeah, they report this week. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, I mean, during earnings season, you can easily see a 20% daily move yeah. in your stocks. So don't yeah. be complacent if you- And then, and then on the financial side, Coinbase has held its gains. It also, didn't give it all back, right? It's just a, yeah. a general pullback, no volume. Uh, Robinhood's held its gains. So speculation is still there. You know, it's not, Absolutely. that was a big move yeah. for Robinhood, 50% move and hasn't given an inch. Um, and, yeah. We'll see. You know, uh, I'm not super bullish, but I'm definitely not bearish. And uh, the, uh, it's, uh, it's fun. It's, it's a, you know, August is generally a quiet month. The hedge fund, the hedge funds that have had a good year are gone. So I think there'll be some volatility around earnings, which I'm not going to. They're always around earnings. Taking always... some time off this month. What are you going to do? I already had time off. I spent two yeah, months in Europe. Sure. Yeah. So no time off for me. I'm I'm working. <laughs> All right, everybody, have a great week. Ivan, have a great week. All right, you too, Howard. Bye. Thank you.